but the honor goes to you because of everything you've done. Uh, my career was made out there in the field with you guys, and all I can say is thank you. <laughs> tell you a little joke about it. Uh, some of the guys in here know, and ladies, I uh, went up to help when he had the battalion, the Trump battalion, and uh, I always thought I was the father. So uh, one evening, we were working on some things pretty heavy, and uh, he walked by the band and he said, Pops, it's time to go. So I said, well, let, let me finish this. He said, Pop, you're working for me. I said, it's time to go. It's time to go. <laughs> 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 but they sent a few things that uh, they asked me would I take on and uh, present to him. And to me, it's a great honor. Uh, we have had some fun together. He kept me out of some trouble. So I guess somebody just kept him out of some trouble. But the guys on range told me that uh, you didn't take no fun now, so I didn't blame you. <laughs> no, you wouldn't talk that way. But the, what they wanted to present to you is this watch on appreciate of those guys. Okay? Um, there's also a coin for the 335th Signal Commander worked out through by Colonel Morrison to present you this. And I'm going to give you the real deal. <laughs> it come out of D.C. <laughs> Special Forces Army. He is officially now retired, and I'm going to pin it on him. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the that's the Colonel Bass, like to present you with a card and you read for leisure. I'm not sure what comments might be in there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hey, thank y'all for being here to, uh, today to honor uh, Colonel Bess and his retirement. I tell you, it's hard to see good soldiers like this go and, and leave us. But he, but he will always come back and visit to us. I hope he will, then. Yes, sir. I know it. Um, it's also good to see the family here. To, uh, in supporting him because you have, they have supported you all these years. And Miss Bess, thank you for sacrifices that you have made and providing uh, Lenny here with us and letting him come to drill. Uh, <laughs> yeah, come. We sent that little check in now. <laughs> but he didn't come. I don't want to say, uh, Colonel Bess has, has fought a lot of wars. I mean, just looking over the assignments he's been in that, oh, that 151 signal, knowing some of that crowd that he has. <laughs> You have had a tough, tough career on that one, I know that. And then the other thing, they sent him off to Afghanistan. And the video that I got back on, on him, on the, some of the other groups, I tell you what, it was tough over there doing what you had to do. <laughs> John Rosenice, the uh, John Ramsey, the Larry Maynard that's sitting in the back of the room. Uh, yeah, yes, you did have a tough time. There was one guy I was going to try to get here that uh, uh, we were walking over there to the armory one day, uh, myself and uh, Colonel Bess and Mr. Maynard, and they were telling me about this guy that was a chief of staff over in uh, Afghanistan, how he always rode, him, rode everybody over there. <laughs> about that time we phoned up in the armory, here comes that IG out of the room. It was Colonel Walker. <laughs> and Colonel Bess said, oh my gosh, he's come back to get me. <laughs> enjoyed working with you throughout the past years. I've just been very great just working and uh, knowing you here. And by half Jim Spears, thank you for everything you've done for us, not for only for the state, but for the nation. Thank you for everything you've done in your service. Thank you. Yeah.